Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Martha is Dead. Um, so, we're just on our way down to develop the films from um, the cameras that we recovered from the lake. Although, it actually looks a bit brighter here. Is there anything here that's worth exploring? I wonder... It doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Right, that's fine. Oh, and the actual doors are open, so. Cool, we're going to have to look at that at some point. <laughs> but let's go to the room and uh, develop the pictures first. So, yeah, it's the ones we recovered from the lake. There's also one more that I actually took. It was of the um, that bit of cloth. Oh, what's going on? That's weird. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. Okay, With cool. this lens, everything gets bigger. So zoom. Red filter for super high contrast photos. Okay, cool. So we're getting lots of equipment now. I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right. My voice is awful. <laughs> it cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. Right, so this is us just taking the films out of all of the cameras that were by the lake. I'm very interested to see what, we, uh, what comes out on them. Because we... Um, by we, I mean the character thinks that we've possibly hurt Martha. Um, so yeah, it's quite These interesting. These images could change everything. I That'd cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Damn my head and these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. Yeah, I mean, trauma can really do that, so... Um, okay. What the hell? Okay, so, so that's the one I took when I was sitting in the house. These are the ones I took when I was outside. So let's develop these first. And then I've already seen um, some interesting ones there. Right, let's just get that. And then in focus, there we go. We'll skip these while they're not talking. Um, we might as well skip them because otherwise we, it will take a while to do all of these. And we've seen it anyway. That's quite cool. I don't know why it wanted me to take some of those. I don't know if it, maybe it's part of a trophy or something. I'm not sure. Right, let's skip that. Right. Right, so this is the next one. We've got quite a lot of pictures to do. Skip that. It's a good way of building like suspense because you don't know 
what's going to come out on these photos. Oh, that's the one with that weird bit of cloth. I can scrap or pull it in. Well, I'll keep it. Because it wanted me to take a picture of that, so... Right, so we've got quite a few pages. Um, on page three. I mean, these look the same, but then that's there. So we'll do that one. We'll leave the other ones. Oh, nice. I guess right on the, um, the focus straight away. We'll skip that. And also doing this without skipping will make it a bit tedious. Right, so is this me we carrying... Carry yeah. Shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the White Lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. Hmm. Well, I'm going to see if there was any more. Right, so we've got that one. These look like there's nothing in it. It's literally exactly the same photo, but... With them in it, then. Got someone running. Yep, and these are the same, so let's do this one. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Yeah, diving in to help her. Right, what else we got then? I'm assuming there's one more. Yeah, there's something there. Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. So I think we've done these in reverse. So running towards the pier, getting undressed, and then bringing her out of the lake. Okay. Right, well, I think we're good here now. Right, so what? do we have then so okay we've got go to the lake okay we've got the message about uh me being pregnant and we've got find the keys as well does not say where she left the keys they had a pink key ring attached to them okay uh let's actually go i want to go out this way and have a little look i'm not sure where the keys would be What's this? A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. Okay, cool. Another item we've picked up. I have found what I need to take in for red photos. Okay, so what do we have out here then? This is the centre of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. Got really old farming equipment. I mean, obviously, this is during the Second World War. 44, I think it's in. 
This is where we ran past, I think, when we're going to the lake. I think I know we went we went down that way. Just getting my bearings. See, <clears throat> I thought there'll be horses in here. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think there'd be cows. Right, is there anything here that's worth looking at? I've got, I've got some cute rabbits. We can't go inside here, though. Okay, that's fine. Right. Well, I am going to head to the lake. Oh, look, the little ones. Are they goats? Yeah. Right, I'm going to head to the um, to the lake because I have no idea where to look for those keys, and I could spend ages looking. So let's head to the lake. Oh, can we actually come through here? I swear we went through there before. Maybe I didn't. Wasn't that this way? No. Okay. I must have not come that way then. But we know it's in that direction anyway, so... There we go, we can go down this way. Uh, this doesn't look right. It sort of leads to nothing. Let's go back up and follow this path. All right, let's have a look. Um, yes, yeah, so that one just is big and loops all the way around, but we want to stick on this main one. flies automatically makes me think like there's some sort of rotten flesh but no it doesn't look like it maybe some bees or something Well, I think it's this way. Um, let me just go down this a little bit. Yeah, it's the way I'm facing. Okay, cool. The hell. What have I stumbled across? Oh, the German soldiers chasing someone. What is going on here? What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. God, it's so close. Well, it sounds so close, anyway. Okay, right, well, yeah, so there's the circle there. So let's loop round, and then there's a turn on the left. Oh! 
Jesus. Sounded like a grenade or something. And this thing is uh, unsettling. What is that? We've got a body there. Looks like someone has lost their legs. So yeah, maybe it's a mine. A landmine or a grenade or something. Oh God, please no. Lapo, my dear friend. Oh no. What have they done to you? Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Why have I just... Have I just wrapped that round me? Like a scarf. Oh, what does this say? Dear Julia, Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? Oh wow, I know he you knew too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself. What? Have I just been shot? Oh great. Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel! Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch! Scheiße, lass uns abhauen! Aber, aber sie lebt noch! Sie liegt im Sterben! Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. Wow. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Right, Martha. Nope. Right, but Martha's right. Martha. I give you back what I have. Nope. Alright. Martha. I give you back your life, your destiny. No, damn it. I was going to go with the other one. You saw me. So, appearance. Okay. Martha. I give you back. Your appearance. I give you back 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 your appearance. That's her face that we peeled off her in the dream, obviously. I give well, you back your so obviously it might not be. I give you back your parents. 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 I 
Right, now... I see... Through your... No. Damn it. Right. Now... I see... With my... It's going to be like own eyes or something. With my eyes. Now I see with my eyes. Now I see with my eyes. Oh. Now I see with my eyes. Now I see with my eyes. Just taking him now into the lake. Okay, um, I have no words. I have no idea what any of that meant. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. Hmm. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But so they didn't death, concede, the and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true. But it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However... Little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. <laughs> Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. That's very cool. I loved all of that. Almost like making it look like a really like macabre puppet show. <laughs> Almost. Damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. So was I shot then? Was it a dream? I'm guessing I was actually shot. The Burial, new chapter, four days after Martha's death. I'm assuming we've still got the old... Well, yeah, we've got a new newspaper to read. Still got to find the keys. We've got that message. Find the tarot cards. I've already done that. 
Yep, we've done that one. Dress yourself for the funeral. Find Lapo's letter. Find the bag. So, I mean, is no one gonna? They're not gonna talk about the fact that I was oh, shot. No, no, my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. I'm really tempted to get How dressed in Julia's clothes. How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be all right. I would like to spend a moment with my sister. Just me and her alone. Before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. Well, I got dressed in um in her clothes. I wonder if that actually makes a difference. Uh, Judy can listen in on conversations by interacting with the door. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, Jesus. For everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the <laughs> Was that necessary? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. Okay, so they've gone. With all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. Okay, I can open the door now. So they're going. Obviously, we know the mother is is away as well because that's where they're going. They're going to pick her up. There's um, my bag. Thank God. Oh, nice. Um, so we should be able to, to have some alone time with with Martha. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Is this it? Dear Julia. Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly, I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. He 6, knew I was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Once again, General Kay's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. The blow from the gun when it's not too sunny life. outside, the 200 ISO it's film works well. Anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the Battle of Port Giponti, on the 18th, they are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Tizza. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausting for the invaders. D 
doing a once over just in case I can find the the keys. I've got something here though, what's this? Oh no. I thought there was an icon where it's reflecting off of it. But it's not. No, it doesn't look like there is anything else here. Okay, but there was something else added to the diary. July nineteenth. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself I guess that this I is every was the one every morning Martha. wherever new entry. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. Okay, so... No, you already know that one. Okay, so that is the most recent one. I suppose that makes sense that there's nothing about the shooting because we would have been unconscious. Um, what else is there then? Right, so it's another one of these. Let's draw it, see if it has anything interesting. The tarot cards, that is. Let's do this one. The moon, okay. This one. The Empress. And one off the top. The High Priestess. I have to see beyond appearances. There are those who betray me and speak ill of me. But someone will know how to give me the right advice. Okay. <laughs> Right, let's see if there's anything different on this layer here. General Edic K. New rules on curfew and women's behaviour. German command of S. Yeah, no, we've already seen that. Okay, cool. Right, let's carry on. I'll go down and I'll read the uh, the newspaper and then I'll end the video there. That seems quite a good place to end it. I definitely want to find those keys, though, to get in that room there. All right, let's read the newspaper. Attempted murder in Laura Mola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin <coughs> sister was the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best Propaganda. Propaganda, no sorry. Believes the truth. No, that's very true. Right. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. What? Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. So shot then, I'm guessing. Uh, right. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. That's the one we've already done. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. Okay, cool. So that will conclude this, uh, this video. So I should pick up the phone oh. but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Right. We'll do that after. So, um I'm gonna save it now and then that's what we'll do first thing in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much and take care.